my first gift to Gwen at the Christmas tree! Okay, <laughs> <laughs> This is what teenagers do. Okay, Chinese calendar hitting us with harsh truth. Yeah, life is life and and it's also part of being vibrant. It's crying. Merry Christmas! It's Christmas morning. Look at that guy. And on my channel, you'll find videos all related to self-love, feminine and mental health. And along with that, some videos will be like this one, where I'm just taking you along and showing you how I live life vibrantly. I'm here having breakfast. I was going to take a sip of tea. I'm here having breakfast. I have some cucumber, egg, tuna salad with lettuce salad and bread. And I'm actually working uh, this weekend, both Saturday and Sunday which is unfortunate because I could have had a lot of other nice things planned but it's also really well because it worked out in my favor for my birthday when I had like five days off I believe it was I worked like four days straight had five days off and I'm working now five days straight because I took an extra shift but everything kind of balanced out my hair looks like a bit of a mess because I put in the curl formers as you will see in the video before this one and you know you have straight hair you kind of don't know how to like style it properly because you're used to curly hair and you can't just put any product otherwise they'll all revert back to being very curly I... it's so cute when people tell you like Merry Christmas so I'm working, it's not that busy but you know when you, start, when you just start a shift you want to have your breakfast because you know it's Saturday, it's not going to be busy and then it's all of a sudden you get a few chats like can I go next week or something please? have breakfast, enjoy my day watch a few YouTube videos if I can around my working shift just to get up to date with other people's content later tonight, Lois is coming up with a friend because they're actually on their way or maybe they are already in Amsterdam they're going there to have some time out so I'm really excited to hear later how things go down and if they have to do and I'm like, huh? okay, I can't show you my address but I got this and I'm like Bo is not gonna send this to me in this packaging because this looks a little ghetto but you know like homemade not ghetto homemade <laughs> and then i open it and it says please don't open until christmas day from your secret santa ah! because at work we have secret santa so it's my first gift to go under the christmas tree <gasps> oh yay i'm gonna put this there too oh that's so cute look i have one gift under the christmas tree okay thank you secret santa i'm now on break I'm going to have some fruit and start this new book Oops, that's really good uh, called Christina Consciousness Creates Peace I'm now going to start it I haven't read this one as yet and this is the girl that it's about or oh, that explains her story and a lot of beautiful things in the book I have the other two from her her series so the first book was actually this one which is Christina Twins Born as Light and it's written from by her mother so her mother explains her and kind of like her life story and up to where she was i love the book so much there's so many good things i read in it that i highlighted and i learned a lot a lot of it actually came at a perfect time as well there's also one part and let's see if i can find it now real quick that came when earlier this year my grandfather passed away I didn't talk about it on my channel as yet however that's why i went to Sarah earlier this year was to be at my family when he passed away and i was reading this book right around that time and right when i was in quarantine on the island because i had to stay in i think 10 day or 12 day quarantine when i got there because the world was in a very different place it still is in a different place now but then it was a bit more strict especially on the island and when i was reading it this came at the exact time that i needed it to come at and it talked about funerals being happy celebrations how if uh, relatives cannot let go of people that have passed and are transitioning that they'll sink into darkness of their grief and self-pity instead and that we should be aware that no one belongs to us and that we have no right to prevent another person from continuing their journey 
by holding on to them. So a colorful celebration in honor of the one who has died has died were held with cheerful music and with all those present who wish the one who has died an enjoyable and happy journey onward. Like all of this that I read and how I was feeling came at the right time. So then I read the first one and earlier this year and I ordered the second, the, the two other books, but I was reading other things that was a bit more needed at the time, but I always feel that books come to you at the right time. And I finished this one now, which is called The Vision of the Good. I finished it actually today. Also a really great book at the ending of this one, she talks about what is the three concepts, the three core concepts, and those being freedom, truth, and love. And I really resonate with this a lot, that if you have the freedom, and you walk in your truth, and you have the unconditional love that you can increase your vibration and also how important it is to be aware of how you're vibrating and the energy you put out into the things that you do. Very short review, those two I finished and now I'm going to move on to this book which is again Christina and this one then moves on to the consciousness creates peace really beautiful it has butterflies and my favorite color blue so i'm going to now and dive into this book and enjoy some fruits and water along with my hand look at these kids that just went to amsterdam looking like amsterdamers with cool socks with cool socks what does it happen at hamburgers hamburgers oh so i bought other socks I just want, I just want completely... Did you buy anything yeah. for your family? For Christmas? Not for my family, but... Well, I did. <laughs> no, no, actually, I did, I did, I did. I did. So, like, no family, no. Here. Here are the things I bought for my friends and family. Aww, that's They're lovely. They're all packaged. They're all yeah, packaged? Nice. And, yeah, that's cute. Okay, you got things for your family. And socks. More socks. Yeah, see? Oh, these are cute. Cherries. Cherries. And that's it? Oh wait, we got candy. Okay, funny story. Funny story. <laughs> funny story. Funny story. This was not supposed to be bought. <laughs> no, this was not supposed. To. She didn't think it would be as expensive. I thought this was gonna be like five, six euros. Mm -hmm. It was eighteen. What? Well, fourteen for this, and then four for this, and together this is eighteen euros. I don't even like jelly beans. <laughs> I love jelly beans, but why was it so expensive, Merry these ones? Merry Christmas, I guess. It was your gift now. <laughs> I mean, I don't like them that much to And this one? Do you know this one? Oh, this this Pocky is Pocky. I'm going to give this to my family. What's the Pocky? Uh, uh, Korean? Yeah, it's Korean. Ah, you see? I put it correct yeah. the first time. See, cultured. cultured. Hello. I like jelly beans, but why? I you Did you... Did you Pick them yourself? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you know what you pick? I mean, we can eat them tonight. We can have a party. A party, a party. turn up. Yeah. Like, I feel young with you all. <laughs> now I see how people feel like when I was always with them when I was younger. Really? Mm -hmm. You're very young. I am. Yeah. yeah. I just look a little tired right now. This is what teenagers do. Yeah, this is what I deal with every day. <laughs> <laughs> Food is on the table. The gyms are closed, but this is a workout. I had a really busy weekend working an eight hour shift and a nine hour shift. And I had Lois and her friend over, Amelia. <laughs> I had a really good time with the girls on the weekend. It was so much fun. And they literally made me laugh all the time and just feel like a little big old er aunt. <laughs> kind of a busy week plan. Today is not busy because it's just free. But work-wise, I work from tomorrow, which is Tuesday, 
until Friday. Always good to have a few days off, I think, for Christmas. I'm really happy that with this job I have now, this rule, that I'm able to actually have those days off and not take domestic vacation. I also should mention that on Saturday we had an immediate press conference and we're back into lockdown. That changed all my plans for the weekend. At one point I didn't know what was happening, so it was okay. And then after I got a bit anxious and then I thought, oh my god, like, I won't be able to do this, I won't be able to get that, I won't be able to... Then the ending, I just realized, it's okay. It's totally fine. Whatever I need to get, I'll get, and what I don't need, I don't need. I'll be fine. I have everything that I need at the moment in my house. The gifts and all the other stuff that I want to get for people and to do. Since I'm not able to do it, doesn't mean that the day won't go through. It will still be a day. So, yeah. We'll just take it slow. I'm letting go all the things that I want to get. Well, I have let go of all the things I wanted to get and I'm not able to get because of the changes and I'm just vibing. Back home after the market and then had adventures and I got so much and I thought I'd show you everything now. First at the Asian Oriental store that I went to, I got this matcha latte and apparently I opened it in a drum because I was so excited. It is packages that you just put this in and then you add hot water and stir it and it's a matcha latte. Got super malt, two of those is always good to have. I got this coconut juice, coconut water drink. Oh my god, it's so good because it has like little pieces of coconut in it. Of course, I drank all these things in bags <laughs> because I like dragging things apparently. And then I saw the, oops, I saw the hair shop open and I was like, oh, is this essential? Is it open? So I kind of like walked in and was browsing around, but then the guy came to me and was like, they're not open. So what do you need because of control comes? You know, you gotta get fine, so what do you need? So all I got was just this. Most in the Oriental, I got two cans of red kidney beans because we're gonna make a soup. Maraschino, maraschino cherries. These ones we use to go on our Christmas ham. This little can, this little can at the Oriental store was 350. And I was like, I'm not going anywhere else in the next few days that sell them. I got some of these fruit. I always forget the name. I think it's Quacky. I forget the name always, but I got these. I had them for the first time last year and I really like them. Seven limes, because they were seven limes, one euro. Four of these for one euro. I got oxtail. I like to make oxtail stew. What I went to the market for was this bad boy. I got my Christmas ham and yeah for all my people that are from the island that's never seen the ham like this before this is actually the dutch version to the one that we get on the island i also have to get used to everything when i came here so compared to the ones you have on the island you have to have like a huge pot otherwise you can't make it mint bush you get three of these for one euro perfect so i got three of those and another great tip i have is if you store it in a plastic bag in the fridge like this um, it actually lasts a lot longer. Salt fish, salt fish, soak it, soak it, salt fish. I got two, two plantains, ginger, I got two sweet potatoes, and onions. And finally, at the Oriental shop, the Chinese store, they asked if I wanted a calendar, and I said yes, because I wanted to see what the calendar is. <gasps> And it's beautiful. In the prospect of the year, coronavirus will be you will be faced with difficult situations with little luck by your side. Also, you will prone you are prone to be backstabbed by others easily. Try to remain low profile and avoid raising conflicts. Money comes and goes. This is a fortune. Money comes and goes. It's difficult to accumulate wealth. Pay attention by managing your finances, but also be cautious in falling into monetary scams. Okay, Chinese calendar, hitting us with harsh truth. I'm not still over that part about also you're prone to be backstabbed by others easily. In romance, dispute could arise easily as your mood fluctuates. Do not listen to gossip as it could create needless misunderstandings. Shade, no shade. Okay, Chinese calendar coming through with a lot of juice for 2022.
And now I'm going to enjoy a matcha latte, or put these up first, enjoy a matcha latte, and I'll come back to tell you how it tastes. I think I put a bit too much water. Maybe if I put water until here, how I had it initially, would have been fine. But it tastes nice, it's actually quite thick and yummy tasting. December 20th, oh my god. Let's see what kind of chocolate we get today. Yummy. Such a beautiful evening. Look at the huge Christmas tree in the water. I love it. Just wanted to come by and tell you I had a session with my therapist and it went really well. I'm excited. I'm sending her a lot of love. I'm home after therapy and I made a quick meal. Pasta bolognese with some salad. And I'm going to enjoy my company of my Christmas tree put on some music and have a dinner just chilling. Good day, beautiful people. I just came back home from doing some groceries. I forgot to check in yesterday. This matcha latte is amazing. I am obsessed. So I sent my friend Marianne to actually buy me some um, because she also knew about it and it's so good. We're matcha lovers in this house. And I'm working as I mentioned. I went out quick and got this. I'm thinking I'm going to wrap it up something like this and then, um, you know, put like a, a see-through, ooh, see-through plastic and then tie it and make it all cute. And this can be like a cute little gift for my friend's mother that's here from Latvia that I'm going to see tomorrow for Christmas Eve. And then I think before going to the house, I'm going to just get some flowers as an extra gift. Um, so that should be fine. Today I'm working a full shift. I think I finish at 7. And when I finish, I'm then going to cook my ham. Yeah, I'm going to cook my ham tonight. And now I'm going to go work and have my breakfast, which is pancakes with cheese and Nutella. Lecker. So I just opened the door and I thought I was getting my H&M order that I made, but I got this in from the mailman and I looked at him like, huh? And he was like, yeah, maybe it's a gift. Yeah, it's a gift, but it's a gift, but we. And then I saw the name package. So you know what I think is actually inside of him? I think inside of him is honey. Because when the girls are by me a few days ago, they were complaining that my honey was not like thick. And as you can see, the honey that I used yesterday for the Ham was thick, like you know, a ham, a uh, uh, correct honey. But I'm thinking one of the girls got me a gift, not Lois, but her friend. And if she did get me honey, 
but whatever i find it so pre i'm i'm so appreciative and i find it so cute like look at the wrapping look at the wrapping so now i have two gifts to put under my christmas tree oh my god that's so cute i don't know if i'll add this in my video but i just went to snapchat just went to snapchat and i went through the memories of of Christmas, I want to turn off of Christmas, and I came across videos of last year how it was. It brings back feelings of how I felt then, and then yeah, all the changes that happened this year, in the last two years especially. I don't think I talked about it yet on my channel. My grandfather passed away at the beginning of this year. So this is his first Christmas not here in his human body. And I feel his presence with me all the time. So I know he's here with me. Just even better actually because he's always with me now. <laughs> but it's just weird to go through and think about all the changes and family, friends. Yeah, life is lifing. And it's also part of being vibrant, is crying. Should also mention it's a bad idea to go through stuff like that and to be on your phone while you're working because now I'm working. <laughs> I'm working. Sitting on my floor and crying. But I give myself love. I give myself love. And I'm really thankful for the people I have in my life, everyone that I have in my life, I really love. And also the ones I don't no longer have close connections with, I also love and send them a lot of love and warmth because I only wish everyone the best. I really, from the bottom of my heart, do. Um, and I, this year, I probably will make a video about it another time, but this year has really taught me that not everyone is supposed to be there. Not everyone will get you and that's okay. So it is true. I'm going to cry a bit more alone because I feel like I just should and then work and check my pie. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of things but it's okay. It's really okay. I think I'm also going to journal actually right now. That will be good to talk about my feelings. I want to do that. Lecker. I have bags, flowers, so pretty and my umbrella and it's really yucky weather like look at that Thank you. It's the first one. This it's is the first one. Ooh. That one, the other one was from Mama from you. <laughs> from yeah. Should I give it to her? Yeah. Okay. That's the first one. I also want to see the two. You done? Yeah. This is from Mommy. Oh. It's ready, Maya. Gonna take the whole, she also appreciates packaging. Oh, me too. I love packaging. I'm happy you appreciate it. Ooh, new socks. <laughs> <laughs> I love these socks. Yeah. Look. Yeah. <laughs> when Topshop had them, I bought so many colors. Glittery socks like my soul. <laughs> This is the blue is yeah. pretty. Okay, I'm gonna wear them tomorrow. Should I keep this? I also have socks. Yeah? Look, one thing I always You know when you're younger you don't like them like socks on the way, on the blue. So when you get older, you're like, oh, I need those. Brown. It's so pretty. I like it. It's burnt. Can you. Do you put. Do you use it to cut? Or do you put like candles on it? 
Kovice. Tu viņu izmanto kā griežumu vai jums vecas lai likt tu virsū? Uh, to var, nu kā uzriest, nu likt uz galda. Just like more to present on the yeah. table. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. I really like it. Do it smoke them. It's heavy. Mm. Oh, I can smell it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 All the senses are important. We see in, we smell. Yeah, it's all. Like it's very yeah. It's really pretty. Yeah. This is yeah. from Shaday. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You want smoke, man? Oh, she got me some. Thank you, Shaday. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Shaday. <laughs> Yes, she needs us to open one. Yes, her need to be. Finding something good without looking for it. Cheers. 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 <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look oh <my> you <laughs> One, two, three, wait. And then give her money back. afternoon <laughs> I woke up around nine something after coming home watching the movie last night that ended up watching me I didn't finish it so we had to finish that today but yeah it's now morning time and I am all in the mood for Christmas it's Christmas Day I'm all in the mood for Christmas I got my makeup done and quick story time I should share with you I'm actually wearing my late grandfather's pyjama that he left here in Holland um, after he visited me in a few years ago when he came. I think it's now five years ago, yeah, when he came, he left his pyjama here. And I was really disappointed because I wanted to get like a nice, you know, Christmas pyjama set to wear and to just like wear for Christmas Day to have like a really slow, chill day. And while I was cleaning out one of my drawers in my bedroom where I store stuff, I found this and I found it and I thought, oh, it's perfect. I can wear, you know, his first Christmas not being here to have him a bit on me and surrounding me a bit. So why not wear this? And then today I got up, started to do my makeup and stuff, just chilling a bit, you know, taking it easy and playing music, relaxing, enjoying my time. I finish my makeup and I look at my clock, clock, I look at my phone and the time on my phone is 11.11. 11. That was the most beautiful confirmation and the most best Christmas gift I could get today. Just a sign from him saying, you know, I'm here. Okay, I'm not going to get emotional because probably will get emotional later on. But now we're going to enjoy. We're going to open the two gifts that I have on the Christmas tree. Um, but before opening, I don't think I ever shared on my channel like what the 11 11 meant for me. It has so much meaning for me, the 11 11, because I also have it tattooed here. The connection, of course, it has with the spiritual world of you being at the right place and at the right time and you not having to force or convince something because things just happen as they should also with the, the candle that my friend got me yesterday the serendipity yeah she got me the candle serendipity and it also kind of has that 11 11 kind of vibe and meaning that finding something good without even looking for it you know that is serendipity and yeah i just think it's so beautiful how the last few months have been i'm going to go ahead and open my first gift that's from someone at work uh, for my secret Santa. So let's see what it is. Ooh, rituals. Oh, that's so cute. I wonder who it's from. Oh, the box is so nice. Look at that. I like it. That is from Amelia. That's who she was so. I, I think it's funny. Let's see. Merry Christmas. I don't usually write the cards, so I have no idea what to say. Very confused. Exo, exo, Amelia. Please don't mind the box. My sister forced me to do this. Not my idea. <laughs> it's honey. I think this honey is from Poland. It's honey. I, I knew she was going to get me honey because when they came, they come 
complained about my honey being too watery and this is real honey so you can see it's not moving or slowly moving <laughs> this is so cute i love that miss young and i always find it awkward when i write to people so just bear with me just before caught my attention was the sauce <laughs> the hibiscus i didn't feel just bear with me Calling honey. <laughs> Preparing the honey save me pack. As you can see, the box contains two jars of honey. If I don't know if you like honey. I don't know a lot of things, but it's the thought that counts. Hopefully, it helps you on your honey journey. If you, if it crosses any line or makes you feel uncomfortable for any reason, just throw it away. Text me the safe word cactus, and I will forget it. <laughs> two jars of honey. One that's organically farmed from her grandparents' farm in Poland and the other one that's sugar but apparently still very good to have. So, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! And I have another card and a card and This Christmas, I just feel so much love and warmth. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Amelia. You are so kind. I'm going to message you my little marshmallow, Lois's friend, cactus as a safe word, I'm going to just say it still because it's a safe word so that we can like forget this ever happened but now she has like 10 nicknames already in front of me that I find so cute so see, giving love and sharing love to people is just easy and stuff like this sometimes happens that you really 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 do not expect but yeah, happens Amelia, I love you you little marshmallow <laughs> This is what we'll use for soup. There we go. The sun is shining mightily in my house. Thank you for the blessings. We have some muffins for dessert, some Latvian candy, a mandarin, ham, Christmas tree bread, egg, pepper. <laughs> I'm gonna pour some apple juice in there and I have mint tea, some butter, cheese, and honey all the way from Poland, provided by Amelia. So yeah, let's go ahead and enjoy our breakfast. Breakfast. It's now almost two o'clock, <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and enjoy our Christmas brunch. Bless the hands that made this food. Thank you for the blessings. We are thankful. Feeling to have something nice, so I'm going to the shop to get babies. Got my Baileys and ice here, but no one told me it's cold. I thought I'd take a walk around my block just to, you know, get some Christmas fresh air, but I can barely see. My eyes are watering, my hands are freezing. Home we go to work for Baileys. Nice. <laughs> we're now at the Maxim Dog and we're going to go to Sweden again. I should say happy Tate Kersta or Maxim Day. Me and my lovely friends decided to go to Sweden again in the cold and I'm going to take you along. Yay! Yay! Uh, Marianne, you look very cold. Because it is cold. <laughs> Boxing day at Sredinia. It's so nice. It's like one degree. 
but we have blue wine, we have company, we have warmth, we have love, we have everything we need. <laughs> Singing. Let's go to the beach now. Oh, not to the beach, to the water, because we are at the beach already. Look. Go closer, oh, Richie. Why don't you think it's serious? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Do you think? Someone wants to go take a picture there too? Look at that guy. Hi beautiful people, I'm back home. I was making some TikToks. If you're not following me on TikTok, where I post videos that are literally all for my <laughs> personal entertainment, I'll put my name here now so you can actually go and check me out and follow me there. The videos are literally for my own entertainment, like they just keep me laughing and happy. But I'm back home from having a nice time outside with all my friends and uh, family. Literally feels like soul family when you just feel so welcomed and uh, at peace with people that just, you know, everything is reciprocated and it feels just right. I'm home now enjoying some, some Baileys. So good. Thank you for watching this video. I love you so much for watching and I appreciate you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.